Hey everybody, David here and Dusty and Uncle. <laughs> Wanted to take a moment to thank everybody for their generosity who chose to help with the GoFundMe project. Whether they helped through GoFundMe or directly through a PayPal link or by sending something to our P.O. box, we've had food and other things sent to the post office box, which has been very helpful. Wanted to say thank you to everybody. Haven't met the goal, but that's all right. There's no obligation. And again, those of you who chose to share your generosity, Ashley, Bernardo, Richard, Charles, Thomas, Moises, Raccoon, Mike, Thomas, Prime Mover, Jimmy, Tristan, John, Keith and family, Robert, Edwin, Andrew, Cletus, Dino, Karen, Jackie, Visa, Edward, Keisha, Velma, Chris, Myrna, and Richard, another Richard. Thank you so much for all of your help. All of our little fur babies, if you will, appreciate it. The various strays and other animals that we take care of. Okay, go ahead. You can go down. <laughs> doesn't want to be on camera anymore. It means a lot and it helps a lot. We enjoy taking care of the stray animals. Again, we kind of got caught up. We had two that were very sick and it just put us behind. So thank you very much. And of course that was Dad and Hobo, the toothless orange tabby, who were the biggest problems. Dad more so because he required some in-depth surgery to remove a tumor. So I wanted to let everybody know where we were at. The GoFundMe will stay up for a while. Uh, I've been asked if I could keep it up. Uh, I can leave it open. I appreciate that. And again, thank you all so much for those of you who were able to help out. Room in the back of the house. This is why we do it. All four of these are adopted strays. And then there's some more out here. Five of them right now waiting for breakfast they line up for us this is dad he's the one come here dad come here dad it's alright this is dad he's the one that had the surgery try to show you if I can. Come on buddy, it's okay. So he's still all shaved up there. But he had the uh, he had the tumor. And that's what really set us behind with the vet. That and this guy right here getting sick. But this is why we do it folks. And then this little guy, who are you? calling him Junior. There's a couple more that aren't here yet, but they're they're waiting for breakfast. As you can see, everybody gets along. The female there, sitting in the corner, she won't go to the bowl until I leave. She's still really timid. But they, uh, they all get along with each other, they don't fight. As long as there's enough resources, they're happy. And again, here's Dad. Still looking really ratty because how he was shaved up from the surgery. He's supposed to be a long-haired cat. Here's a better look at Dad. He's just uh, really friendly. Good boy. And then here comes Uncle because he's really jealous. But he's recovered really nicely from his surgery. His tail still looks really raggedy because they shaved the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, he's great. He's not in pain anymore. He's off all of his meds now. a really nice old cat. 